Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is Miriam and for today's video, it's kind of like a more interesting video, you know, it's a more fun video for me to film, I guess. I don't know. But anyways, for today's video, I'm going to be cleaning my vans with your suggestions. So the video that kind of got a lot of views was the one where I cleaned all my vans. So if you guys don't know, I am a hoarder and I like literally save all my shoes from like four years ago so before any of you guys comment oh my god you guys have so many shoes like blah 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 blah, blah. i'm not spoiled okay i'm not spoiled um also i don't have like the most amount big ass amount of money i've just been saving up my shoes for the past four years so yeah and also i don't skate but i can still wear bands thank you very much but i don't skate but if any of you guys want to show me like show me some tricks or tips let me know. I mean, I don't mind. I don't mind to try something new out. But yeah, I'm going to be doing, I'm going to try to clean my shoes using your guys' suggestions and see if, you know, what it is. Because a lot of you guys commented under my video saying like, oh, like, what to use and everything. So yeah, we're going to get on to this video. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, let's get on to this video. Okay, so we got a lot of suggestions. So the first one is shove your bands in the washer with fabric softener so the reason why i don't use my washer is because it literally just makes them super wet like literally like super wet and it doesn't really do anything because like you know you're not scrubbing anything you're just just going like this and like this but yeah we're gonna be shoving our shoes in the washer with fabric softener so yeah so here are all my bands I'm gonna choose which ones to just throw in the washer. I feel like literally all my shoes are dirty. Why don't we try these? So we're gonna be doing these, which are really dirty as you guys can see. So let's go throw these in. Really moist. Okay, literally they look the same. Literally look the same. I don't know what to do. Apparently this is how they look. Like just out the shower. Really not a fan. They look the same. Oh my god. Okay, so that was the next suggestion was baking soda and water. So we're going to be trying to mix baking soda and water into a paste, I guess, that's what you're supposed to do. And then clean my shoes, so... Yeah. Okay, now those are the shoes we're going to be using, and we're going to come here to our handy dandy toothbrush shoes. They need to clean my shoes, and we're going to start cleaning. So, I'm going to take off the laces first. Here are the shoes up close. A bit not too much to clean just a little bit the material is kind of dirty here's the second shoe not really much to clean so. yep. okay so honestly I added a shit ton of baking soda to this and it honestly, it doesn't mix well together. I think it's, it has something to do with science. I don't know, I'm stupid. But hopefully my shoes don't get messed up. But let's try and see. <laughs> Thank you. 
we're gonna compare just the bottom. Um, so here's this bottom. I feel like the baking soda is leaving like residue. So I feel like the only way to clean that is with water, like clean, clean water. This is the result. It's drastic, guys, literally drastic as hell. And you can really tell the difference. Let's see the top of the shoe. Now we're gonna do the material part, which I'm really scared of because I see, I already got like a little bit on there and it's already leaving this nasty thing. But let's say fuck it and go ahead and clean it. So, scrub because I don't want to do too much. But yeah, you can already see that part. I don't like it. I feel like I'm gonna have to let this dry and then scrub off the beans. So, so yeah, let's go let this dry outside. So after I let my um, van sit outside, um. Here's how they turned out really bad, actually. So we're gonna get a, another toothbrush. And see if we can fix it with clean water. So we're just gonna go with clean water and just try to fix that. Now here is the baking soda one. Honestly, I don't suggest this one at all for this for the material at all. I just suggest it for the bottom. The bottom really does do a significant change, but just not the top. Yeah, it's not working out for me, but yeah, that's the baking soda. This is the baking soda method. So the third um, suggestion was bleaching your white vans in a mixture that includes dish soap. So bleach and dish soap for these babies. Let's try it out. I don't feel like that's clean. Fuck it. How do I make it stop? We're gonna add some bleach. Maybe that's too much. I don't know. Then some dish soap. Here's the mixture. What the f what the fuck is that? Okay, so we have the bleach and the dish soap together. But the thing is that I always paint my white vans. Um, that's another suggestion that I got a lot to paint my vans, and I do. So I really suggest that one. I paint them with acrylic um, paint. But the thing is that it's coming off, and it's coming off, and you can see the little bits of paint just right there. So yeah, we'll let that sit. We'll be back later. Jesus, this is shoe number one. I feel like I'm going to let them dry outside, but look at the paint. So this is how they look. I'm just taking them out. We're going to let them dry and the paint's coming off, which is not great, but yeah. This bleach method did work, so I just... So yeah, I suggest this method a lot, except don't use it when you paint your shoes, but painting your shoes actually helps too. So, so for the next suggestion, we have laundry detergent and warm water. So here I have some warm water and some laundry detergent and we're gonna see what happens and stuff. So, yeah. So these are the shoes we're gonna clean. They're really ugly and dirty as you guys can see. Truly dirty. Literally. I think, I don't know, wait, did I take these two? No, not Yosemite, Yosemite was, um, I don't know. These are really dirty, okay. Anyway, oh, I think it was a hike. I don't, I don't know. 
here's the finished product literally it just like a touch up you know just to get rid of the dirt which is actually really nice um also we're just gonna let this dry for a bit and i don't know what that is it just doesn't come off okay so now a little trick that some of you guys said is that when like the top gets hard to use baby oil so we're gonna be using baby oil we're gonna try to fix the back part because the back part is really hard i don't know how this will work honestly so i guess let's see okay there you go I don't know what this is supposed to do, honestly. It doesn't seem like it's kind of doing a difference, but I mean, it's, if we fuck up our shoes, it's all our fault. Wait, yeah, okay, this is not a good idea. I wish you guys could see what I'm doing. Okay, this is really not a good idea. Or is it? I mean, okay, that looks, that honestly that looks better. Okay, we're gonna let that dry. We have the baby oil. Um, this is with the baby oil and this is without the baby oil and you can kind of tell the difference. Like what? And like, I don't know if we're supposed to let that dry or something. But yeah, let's check in later and see. Put baby oil around it and you just move it around and it should kind of do the deal. So yeah, whoever suggested this is literally kind of really, okay, yeah, I kind of really love this. Like, see, like, yeah, okay, shout out to that person.